Hello, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sproutlings. In this video, we'll be talking about retail. The reason for this, summer is coming up and I've nearly been at my new job for pretty much a year. Wow, well done me. That is officially the longest I've had a job for. I'm going to tell you guys some horror stories from the places that I've worked. And in this episode, we shall look at the beginning, the beginning of it all. The horror of fast food. Ah! I worked for probably the biggest fast food chain out there. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the company name, so we're going to stick with Mickey D's. Mickey D's. That's uh, that's what we're going to call it. And um, I got that as my first job because I was desperate for money and I needed a job. And it gets a lot of like kind of crap thrown at them for being such a bad place to work. But I learned some really important stuff there. I'm thankful for that. I've learned how to work with utter horrible people. If you can work in Mickey D's for at least six months, you will have the best experience of your life when you leave. It is such a big weight lifted because you don't go in, you're not hounded with people yelling at each other in the kitchen. You don't hear constant beeping of all the fryers going off and telling you to shake the fries to make sure they don't stick together in the fryer and then people screaming at you saying you haven't got enough fries in the thing or you haven't got enough burgers ready and you haven't made this chicken sandwich quick enough and it's just like <coughs> one time it was a bank holiday as far as I am aware and I work and I still do it's all in one park apart from my second job that was more in the town centre near me but um, I work in this big, what's known as like a retail park or an outlet village, and um, my Mickey D's was there. It was one of the busiest in the country, apparently, and it's more busy than the one in Liverpool. So there you go. And the one in Liverpool is huge, and it seats 400 people, and my one was busier. Great. So it was a bank holiday, and me and my friend Dylan, we, we worked there at the same time, and I think he was with me with this. I can't remember, but as far I think I think he was with me because we got understaffed, and it was me, him, and somebody else on grill side all day. And if you don't know what grill side is, there's a side for grill stuff like the burgers, and then there's a side for all the chicken orders, and then fries is near the front, and then you've got the tills, obviously. But it was just me and two other people for that entire day. One of the busiest types of days in the year every bank holiday was the same just busy as hell cramped horrible but they never understaffed since then which was kind of good so i guess they kind of learned their lesson but we smashed it and dylan if you're watching this please say that you were with me because i remember you being with me and i remember me and you being the best goddamn team there was in there Ooh! another time i got asked to go on till for the first time ever and with the uproar of all the loud beeping and stuff in the background it was really difficult to hear the customers, especially when the fact you've got 30 other people trying to order. <sighs> so I'm there listening and I'm like, Hi, I'd like to order a Big Mac, please. Large meal, large meal. Mm-hmm. No pickles. Yeah, no pickles. Yeah. Um, I'd like a Coke with that, please. Mm-hmm. Some chicken selects, please. That'll be, that'll be good. Some chicken strips. Uh... A pound, quarter pounder, that's it, that's what it's called. Yeah. And a, a strawberry milkshake. Oh, we can't do a milkshake, sorry, the, the, the machine's broken. It's broken? No, 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 that's not how it works, sir. Connor, no. I'm sorry. I'm you fix it. It's not my fault. I want a milkshake. No, I came what, here. What do you expect me to do? I work here. I, I'm not, I don't engineer not it for. equipment. Give me my milkshake. I am sorry, sir. Kindly no. close the door from Forget the other it. side. Forget. Goodbye. Gimp. So basically, yeah, we have really rude customers like that. Oh, well, we did. I don't work there anymore, thankfully. Also, I got shunned a lot for working at Mickey D's and I, I wasn't happy about that. As much as I hate the company now, they weren't the worst company ever. I say that because yeah, they did work me to the bone for less than minimum wage, but I, I learned some life skills on how to work with really horrible people in such stressed environments. And now I know that nothing's really as bad as being that stressed from there. Um, now, if I'm panicking a lot, I'll just think back to 
like one of the busiest times when I was under pressure constantly but because of that constant being under pressure you learn to cope with that pressure so it doesn't seem as bad for future stuff so I'll give you credit Mickey D's thank you for helping me with that because I was a very stressed out person and I like to think I managed myself quite well another time and I don't think I should say this it was really really busy and I thought this lady had paid for her food and she didn't and I gave her a food because I thought she did contactless payment and she didn't and I went to go and press card payment again and I was, as I was about to tell her to do a card again she walked off and I didn't stop her I felt horrible like really mean and another time I got this really rude woman and she was like give me one large diet coke please thank you and I'm just like okay but no ice. I know you like to cheat us and put ice in. So since she said that, I was like, you're getting full fat, love. Sorry. So I, I gave her full fat Coke instead. Full fat Coke in the full sugar one. One last thing that I'm going to mention about Mickey D's. This is not half of the stories, but I want to make this into a bit of an episode series. So yeah, I'm going to end it on this one. I hate it when you have your name badges and stuff and then customers think, I can talk to you on a first name basis where you don't know my name, but I know your name. And they're like, oh, thank you, Connor. And I'm just like, don't call me Connor, please. Thank you. Thank you. Because we have to approach customers with sir, madam and stuff like that. But this just doesn't. Why? Why would you call an employee by their first name? In my other, in my new job now that I have, I say new job now, I've been there like a year, but in my current job, People talk to me on a first name basis because I sit with them for long periods of time. I'm literally taking your order for like two minutes. So you do, we, we don't have that intimacy, okay? So don't call me by my first name. Well, when I was working there anyway. Anyway, that's all we've got time for for this video, guys. And uh, I appreciate you watching this video. It was nice to have a rant and kind of look back on some of the things and the reason why I left that job at Mickey D's. Um, I'll happily do another one if you want to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so I know that you like this kind of video and I'll happily do another one. I'm probably going to do another one anyway, but it would be nice to know that you'd be looking forward to the next one. And I will talk about how I left Mickey D's and then got my new job. So yeah, stay tuned for that guys. Keep being awesome my little sproutlings and I will see you next week.